It was a foggy morning when Officer Reynolds and his team began their work at the old cemetery. For weeks, rumors had circulated about strange occurrences disturbed graves, a mysterious cat that seemed to guard a particular spot, and a sense of unease among the locals. The cemetery tucked away on the outskirts of town had been a quiet, somber place, but recent incident changed that. But before we start, smash the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our upcoming stories. George, the groundskeeper, had alerted authorities after noticing one grave in particular that seemed to have been tampered with, soil loose and freshly turned, despite no recent burials. The team carefully began their excavation, peeling back layers of earth to reveal what lay hidden beneath. Officer Reynolds kept a keen eye on the process, ensuring every detail was meticulously documented. He had been on the force for over two decades, and while he had seen his share of strange cases, this one had a peculiar feel to it. It wasn't just the disturbed grave that bothered him, it was the way George had described the eerie presence of the black cat, which seemed to watch over the grave as if it were guarding a secret. After hours of slow and cautious digging, the metallic edge of a box emerged from the dirt, confirming their suspicions that something had been intentionally hidden. The box was old, rusted in places, and covered in layers of mud, as though someone had gone to great lengths to ensure it wouldn't be found. As the team gathered around, George stood at a distance, his eyes wide with a mix of fear and curiosity. What could have been buried here, and why? The discovery raised many questions, especially with the cat, which remained a silent observer, its eyes fixed on the team's every move. Officer Reynolds decided to let Brutus, the department's canine officer, inspect the box. The dog's cautious behavior, mirroring that of the cat, reinforced the suspicion that whatever was inside was far from ordinary. To Reynolds could sense the tension in the air, and his instincts told him this was going to be bigger than they initially thought. Meanwhile, Officer Scott was delving into the history of the restoration company responsible for the cemetery's recent repairs. The town had suffered a severe storm months earlier, which had caused extensive damage to several headstones. A restoration company had been brought in to fix the damage, but Scott's research uncovered unsettling details. The company had been formed just before the storm and dissolved shortly after completing its work. This suspicious timing suggested a deeper connection between the company and the hidden box. As the officers carefully lifted the box out of the ground, Officer Reynolds received a call. Scott's found something, the voice on the other end said. The company wasn't just fixing headstones, it looks like they were concealing evidence. Far from the graveyard, Lena was boarding passengers on her latest flight. As a seasoned flight attendant, she had encountered all types of people, but today felt different. While doing her rounds, she locked eyes with a man seated near the window, and her heart skipped a beat. He had the same brown eyes as her late husband, Tom, who had been a pilot for the same airline. The resemblance was uncanny down to the way he wore his ring, a silver band with a small diamond, just like Tom's. Shaken by the sight, Lena confided in her colleague, Stacy, I know it sounds crazy, but that man, he looks just like Tom, Lena said, her voice barely above a whisper. Your late husband, she asked, trying to process what Lena was saying. Lena nodded. I know he's not Tom, but something about him is off. He even has the same ring. Stacy, understanding Lena's distress, decided to investigate. She approached the man asking for his boarding pass, but it read Mark Glitch, a name Lena had never heard. Still, Lena couldn't shake the feeling that there was more to this. She noticed that the man kept checking his phone, his demeanor anxious. It was as if he was waiting for a message, a sign, something to tell him what to do next. As turbulence rocked the plane, the man gripped his armrest tightly, his nervousness becoming more apparent. When the man took his backpack to the lavatory and didn't emerge after 10 minutes, Lena's suspicions grew. She informed Stacy and together they approached the lavatory, knocking softly but receiving no answer. The situation was becoming urgent. They decided to alert the captain, who radioed ahead, requesting security assistance at their destination. Back at the station, Officer Reynolds and Scott reviewed the box's contents. Inside, they found illegal substances, several forged passports, and a weapon, all of which had connections to an unresolved cold case. The weapon, now marked as missing evidence, had been at the center of a case that had puzzled the department for years. DNA testing would later match the original suspect, providing a breakthrough that stunned the team. The grave had been used as a cache for criminal evidence and the restoration company had been the front for orchestrating this scheme. What was more shocking was that the investigation revealed links to a broader smuggling network operating out of the state. 
As Reynolds pieced together the information, he received a call from the airport security. We've got a situation on flight 372, the officer said. There's a man on board matching the profile from your case, and he's carrying something suspicious. We need to coordinate. Reynolds immediately saw the link. The man on the plane, the box, and the grave, and the restoration company, they were all part of the same web. The suspect on the plane was likely connected to the group that had hidden the evidence, and Lena's flight had unknowingly become a key part of the investigation. On the plane, Lena's heart raced as the man finally emerged from the lavatory, looking disoriented. She and Stacy noticed he was clutching his backpack tightly. Lena decided to take a bold step and approached him. Sir, can I help you with anything? She asked, her voice steady despite her nerves. The man hesitated before nodding slightly. I need your help, he whispered, barely audible over the hum of the plane's engines. Lena's eyes widened as she caught a glimpse of what was inside his backpack, a small, complex device that looked alarmingly like a bomb. She quickly calmed herself, maintaining her composure as she tried to understand what he was saying. Sir, you need to tell me where you got that device, she urged softly. But the man, Mark, shook his head, his expression one of fear and desperation. The plane began its ascent, and Lena knew they were running out of time. The captain had already alerted authorities who would be waiting on the tarmac, but she needed to keep the situation under control until they landed. Listen, she said firmly, we're going to land soon, and there are people here who can help. But you need to trust me. Mark seemed to break down, his shoulders sagging as he whispered, I didn't want to be involved. They made me do it. Lena's heart pounded as she realized he might not be a willing participant in whatever scheme was unfolding. Who made you do it? She pressed, but Mark only shook his head, his eyes glassy with fear. The plane touched down, and as soon as it taxied to the gate, security personnel boarded the aircraft, discreetly taking Mark into custody. Lena watched as they led him away, her mind still reeling from the events of the past few hours. She felt a strange mix of relief and confusion, knowing that something larger was at play. Her instincts, sharpened over years of experience, had been right, but she still felt uneasy about the whole situation. The police station, Officer Reynolds and Scott prepared to question Mark. The evidence from the grave had already painted a picture of a criminal network, but Mark's arrest would provide the missing pieces. During the interrogation, Mark confessed that he had been coerced by the same group behind the restoration company. He was supposed to transport the device on the flight, unknowingly caught up in a larger smuggling operation that had been using the cemetery as a cover. Mark explained that he had been recruited by a man who promised him quick money to transport packages. He thought it was just the illegal substances at first, but when he was handed the device, he knew he was in over his head. They told me if I didn't do it, they'd come after my family, he confessed, his voice trembling. The smuggling ring had managed to keep their operations discreet by exploiting people like Mark, who were desperate and easy to manipulate. With Mark's cooperation, the investigation quickly unraveled the rest of the network. The restoration company had been a front for a smuggling ring, using the storm repairs as an opportunity to bury illegal goods and evidence. They had used the cemetery as a depot, moving things in and out without arousing suspicion. The cat that seemed to guard the grave had become a peculiar symbol of the operation, a silent witness to their crimes. The man on the plane connected to the group was their link to other operations, but his nervousness and Lena's keen observation had brought their plans to light. The evidence recovered from the grave allowed the police to close several cold cases, including the one that had been unsolved for years. The evidence recovered from the grave allowed the police to close several cold cases, including the one that had been unsolved for years. The DNA on the weapon matched a suspect who had been under the radar for a long time, allowing law enforcement to finally make an arrest. Officer Reynolds and his team, along with airport security and the keen intuition of Lena, had managed to dismantle a criminal operation that had spanned years. In the aftermath, Officer Reynolds visited the cemetery, now free of its haunting mysteries. The cat that had once guarded the grave seemed at peace, wandering off as if its job was done. Reynolds decided to adopt the cat, recognizing its odd but crucial role in the investigation. Brutus, the loyal canine officer, now had a new friend and the department had an unusual but fitting mascot in their victory against crime. As for Lena, she was commended by her airline for her quick thinking. The experience had been surreal, a blend of fear, determination, and a strange, unexpected connection to her late husband. She realized that her instincts, shaped by her years working alongside Tom, had led her to uncover the truth. 
She would never know why Mark resembled Tom so much, but she was at peace knowing she had helped bring a criminal network to justice. With the case closed, the cemetery returned to its quiet existence, a place of rest, and the plane continued its journey, flying across the world, its passengers unaware of how close they had come to danger. The efforts of a dedicated police force, a watchful flight attendant, and even a mysterious cat had brought peace, leaving behind a story of perseverance and an intricate web of connections.